play Siri with the, the I, AI version? Well, they say they are. They have to because if they don't, I mean, there's somebody, I forgot what the name of his, uh, I think it's called like Ask GPT or something, that he literally made a web app that I signed up for. It's like $50 a month I canceled. Um, not to throw, you know, flack on what he was doing. It just didn't work how I wanted. And literally his entire app was downloading shortcuts on your phone, like the Apple shortcuts that literally it was like you pressed it, you turned it on and it would install like, I bet you install like 70 different shortcuts on your phone to essentially connect Siri with chat GPT. And the main reason I didn't really like, see, she's so dumb. Um, but the reason, the reason that, uh, I didn't like it was mainly because like, yes, it would send AI or it would send transcripts over GPT's uh, API and send them back. But the delayed timing of how long it would take to process it just made it very non-intuitive for me. Um, but it was a great idea. People already wish Siri worked like GPT and it doesn't. And so Apple has to make that progression at some point in time because Google's going to do it with the Androids. And even though there's tons of us that would just jump off a building before we had to use an Android every day, there's enough people that are gonna be like, why the hell would I use Apple's S-I-R-I -I, so she don't wake up um, instead, of, uh, instead of this Android that has AI in it. So yes, they have to. Where do I think they're going to go with it? Well, the thing is, is like uh, S-I-R-I, -I, I need to just tell her to stop listening, um, has been around for like freaking 10 years now. And it's stupid. Like it is legitimately dumb. Like it's like the only thing I use it for is, you know, adding to do's to my to do list or um, adding notes to Notion or adding reminders, basically just triggers that I've created on my own. It, it's, it's not helpful and it'll browse the web for you, but even that it returns like limited search results. So the point of the matter is the series like mind blowingly dumb. And to be honest with you, if you use most of the Apple apps, and I think this is the point of concern here with everyone getting on the Apple AI train and being hype about that, is watch a trend right now. I've been, I think I pointed this out in a meeting the other day, is like Apple's native software is not really impressive at all. Their operating system is the best and it's not even close, but the, their um, actual native software, like the best app they have is iMessage and iMessage is still lim uh, lacking um, features like last night I was trying to figure out is there a way to set up a shortcut or something to do send later like you can do on slack because I have clients or partners that I'm, I'm texting and I don't want to text them at 1 a.m. I want to have it set so it sends out eight and there's no way to do that even and yet Android has that natively um, and so the point of the matter is is the software on Apple itself their apps who uses Safari? We all use Chrome. Who uses iCloud? We all use Google Drive or, or Dropbox. Who uses Apple, uh, what's it called? I don't even, Pages or Keynotes or Numbers. Nobody. We use Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google uh, Slides. The point of the matter is, is that I've noticed that like, it's almost like Apple's whole entire approach to software nowadays has progressed into giving the user the most minimal basic software that their grandma or their mom can use when they get an iPhone or a MacBook, but not giving the user anything groundbreaking anything innovative like you know we use the apple notes every once in a while but it doesn't have jack compared to notion um the apple reminders doesn't have jack compared to todoist even the apple email app is garbage compared to the gmail app 
which is still basic. Um, it must last like superhuman and some of the better email clients. So the point of the matter is, is that do I think that Apple's AI jump is going to make that big of a deal? Apple won't make it that big of a deal. It'll still be the dumbest AI on the market. Mark my words, five, 10 years from now, Apple's AI won't have Jack compared to OpenAI, to Microsoft, to Google. It's like they've given up on software. Um, now, trust me, I don't like Microsoft either, but the point is, is this framework or what they're saying that they're releasing right now, what they call MTX, um, that, the only thing I haven't even looked into is first time I've heard of it, but the only thing that I can see that, what is it? MLX. MLX. The only thing I can see of that as being actually beneficial and, and could be a groundbreaking thing is if they're basically releasing a native LLM, large language um, machine learning that is literally built into my acronyms are way off today, so please don't kill me in the comments on this. But basically, um, if they're releasing that as its own language module that's already with Siri's ability to transcribe and listen to the English language, and they're just giving that as basically a library or uh, AP, uh, SDK, whatever it is, built natively into Xcode that allows us that when the actual app developers out there are building on Apple, um, they're able to just naturally tap into that and not have to, um, uh, you know, call ChatGPT's API. Thank <laughs> you.